Another anonymous Pac-12 coach had something to say about Coach Prime. And I, I think this is this is kind of lame. I get what they're doing, but it's very, very lame. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsy Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsy Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, another anonymous source, anonymous coach from the Pac-12 had something to say about Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. And I think that is very, very lame. But let's go ahead and take a look via on three on what this anonymous coach had to say. Let me take a look, share my screen. Go ahead. Boom. Right here. It says... Anonymous Pac-12 coach on Deion Sanders via Outlaw Sports. This is either he's going to be really good, really fast, and leave for another gig, which looking at the roster doesn't seem possible. Ooh, little shots. Ugh. The alternative is that they're going to be bad, and they'll end up firing him, being uh, him in a big circus. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. One. The thing I hate about anonymous sources, I get why sometimes you have to do anonymous sources. I get it sometimes. But when it's in forms of criticism like this, it shouldn't be anonymous. Because why are you being anonymous if you got this on your mind? It, the reason why you're anonymous is because you're not supposed to be saying this for whoever you work for. It's a Pac-12 coach. I'd imagine it, it's either a head coach or an assistant. I'd imagine like an assistant, not just like a position coach, like a coordinator or something. Because if you're anything less than a coordinator, you really shouldn't even be talking to the press a whole lot during the summer. They're looking for stuff like this to have something to talk about. As you see, we're talking about it. But at the same time, why? if you go say something about Dion or about any other coach, put your name behind it. Let them know where it came from. You're doing that because you still want to be Kiki and ha ha in his face when you see him. Like, if, if you got something to say, good, bad, or indifferent, just put your name on it. Pat Narduzzi had no problem, whether it was right or wrong, putting his name on a quote. Well, they asked him about because the thing is, a lot of these coaches are being asked about Deion Sanders. Now, let's not get it twisted. I'm not going to act like they're just talking about him out of nowhere. For the most part, they're being asked because he is a hot commodity, and getting a sound bite from you may get him to respond, which we're going to talk about, and it gives us something to talk about, or it gives us something to report on or whatever during the summer when there's not a whole lot of going on, a whole lot of action going on. And so, therefore, they're asking them about them. I'll give them that. But if you got something to say, put put your name on it. Pat Narduzzi had no problem when they asked him about Dion putting his name on. Yo, I don't think all those transfers is right. I don't think that taking in 70 transfers in one year or over a course of one offseason is cool. And whether you agreed with him, disagreed with him, whatever, he stood on that. Matt Rule. Who plays Dion this year? Him and him and the Nebraska Cornhuskers play Colorado Buffaloes this year. They asked him about Dion Sanders because they do have a game and they are old rivals way back in what the Big 12 or the Big 10 or something. And they a Big 12. And they asked him, like, you know, about Dion. And he said whatever he said. It wasn't wasn't the friendliest of comment, it wasn't the nicest of comment, but he put his name on it. He stood on it. He's like, yo, you know, it is what it is. And but for these anonymous coaches, and especially if you're not a head coach, it's corn, it's very cornballish behavior. I think it's I think it's ugly. If you got something to say about somebody, especially if it's negative, just put your name on it or don't say it at all. Or just like, hey man, I'm here to talk about you know whatever Pac-12 school I talk about. I'm not here to talk about Deion Sanders. I got you know, we got our team, we got Oregon, USC, uh, Stanford, Cal, uh, Colorado all on the schedule. We we got stuff to work on. And so here's the Here's the same quote. You know, either he's going to leave early or they're going to fire him in a big circus. And Prime actually responded to this. He said, this is the dumbest thing I, I've almost ever seen. And the only reason why I said almost is because I'm giving y'all time to top this stupidity. We come in and you know it. Love him, whoever him is. Now, here's the thing. It's not that I don't think that some of the quote could be possibly accurate. I think if Dion does have success at Colorado, he won't be there very long. We we I've come on here and said that multiple times. I think three years max, three years max, 
if he does four years, I'd be very surprised. But three years max for sure, simply because this, I don't think this is the final stomping ground for him. I think he, in his mind, in his vision, he sees himself at a place bigger and better than Colorado, which is okay. That is okay. I just, I genuinely think that. I think he sees himself at a Florida State, at a Florida, at a school in the SEC, wherever that may be. Not ending in Boulder, Colorado, where it's you know difficult to recruit, harsh weather in the Pac-12, a dying conference, et cetera, et cetera. There's a number of reasons why you shouldn't be at Colorado. It's like a, not a very good job. It has great facilities. Yeah, they got a lot of money in Boulder. That's not a great job. And so that's why I don't think he'll be there long, especially if he finds success early. The whole firing him in the big circus, I don't think that is even a possibility. I think Colorado is going to keep Dion as long as he wants to be there, simply because it is a win, 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 win for them. You know, he said a lose, lose. No, it's a win, win, win. Because even if they suck, even if they don't win, Dion is going to keep press there. He's going to keep butts in the seat. He's going to keep you in the news cycle. He's going to have you talked about in your football talk to Brown. He's had Colorado since he uh, became the head coach in December. They have been, if not the most talked about college football program, one of top three, no less than three, top three most talked about college football programs in the entire country. On top of that, they've got more coverage in this six, seven months, seven, eight months. They've received more coverage, more videos, more clicks, more streams, whatever, more followers or whatever in these seven months than they probably did in the previous 15 years combined. The seven months, you've gotten more media coverage, more impressions, more whatever than probably your 15 years of Colorado football combined, previous 15 years. And the thing is, it, and to kind of top that point, why it only makes sense for Deanna to leave, you see Mel Tucker, Mel Tucker, who's a good football coach, now the football coach at, uh, at Michigan State. He had somewhat success at Colorado in one year. He's out of there. Now, I think Dion will give them more than one year. I think Dion will give them three. But as soon as he gets the ball rolling a little bit, as soon as he gets to winning a little bit, as soon as a big-time job opens up in the SEC or in the state of Florida, Dion's out of there, and he should be. It only makes sense. And it's not enough money Colorado can sign. They, they even said they had to, they had to uh, borrow money to pay Dion, and they're still getting hand over fist. Deion is a, 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 I think Dr. Boyce put it as a company acquisition. It's a big acquisition. And they'll lose that at some point, you know, and that's okay. But they're going to, they're having a ton of fun while he's there. And they haven't even played a game yet. They're raking in a ton of money and having a ton of fun while he's there. And they'll do that, I think, over the course of the next three years. But up until that point, I think he will leave. So I think part of that quote is accurate. Just put your name on it. Just don't be a punk and not say and just do it anonymously. Anonymous, that's garbage. It's just lame. Pat Narduzzi gave you the blueprint. You got something to say about any coach, not just Dion, but anybody. Put your name on it or don't even say it at all. That's my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Another anonymous quote from a Pac-12 coach, and I say that's whack. Put your name on it if you got something to say that bad. My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button before you get out of here. Like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for tuning in. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. That is on Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace.